Hi guys, Archie Luxury. Go to f2bbs.com. www.f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. That's right, guys. I want you to go to www.f2bbs.com. That's right. I want you to go there. You can, uh, this is a, a great site to fight against all sorts of nasty and nastiness by posting on f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. Go there, guys. Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel doing paid review 20QA3. 20QA3, this is for Chad. Quick, 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 whist watch check. What am I wearing? Rolex. Rolex Submariner 126610LN. This is the Submariner date. Archie, my name is Chad. I'm 37-year-old husband and father of three young kids, seven, five, and two. Over here in the United States, I really enjoy watching your channel. Despite some of the nasty comments that you receive, I find a ton of value in the information that you provide and will continue to refer my friends to your channel. Also, congratulations on the recent acquisition of the sub Marina date. My love for watches started when I was a teenager as my parents gave me a Tag Heuer Link Black Diamond Dial for my high school graduation. I know your feelings about Tag. No, 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 stop. I, I, I don't hate Tag. Let's just clarify that. I don't think they're the be-all and end-all, but I think Tag Heuer is an excellent starter watch. Swiss, it's decent. And it's available, unlike Rolex. I mean, so so let's just clarify that there. I've owned, I've owned a uh, in recent times the Monaco Tag Heuer, the Monaco. I've had the Caliber Eleven, so let's not get into that. But it was my first luxury watch, and it has sentimental value. Greatly outweighs the lack of brand. Oh, well, the brand popularity. They're actually most punters out there actually like him. So I I just just back the truck up. I will keep and cherish it forever, of course, as you should. From here, there, I went on to purchase my Rolex, my first Rolex Datejust. Jubilee bracelet, fluted bezel with a mother of pearl, diamond dial upon my first major career milestone at 26 when I passed the CPA exam. I was young and dumb and was unaware of the lack of value. Oh, you got rid of it? Man, that's a that's a sad thing, man. You should have kept it. They just actually are on the rebound. They're on the rebound. As you can imagine, my mother of Pearl Diamond Dial was very in your face as I only wore it on weekends, so I didn't want my co-workers at my firm to pass judgment. A couple years later, I went on to purchase an IWC Portuguese Chronograph 3714 with the white dial and blue numerals. I think it's a gorgeous watch and currently serves as my dress watch. I went on a long hiatus of buying watches as I got married and had kids and wasn't able to spend money on watches like I used to. Within the last year and a half, I began dipping my toes back into the wristwatch market. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okie dokie. Uh, since the date just previously mentioned wasn't getting much use, Due to the gaudiness of the mother of pearl dial, was that original? You didn't tell me is it original or was it aftermarket? I, 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 I would have anyhow. I ended up trading it with an online dealer and got the Pam one one one. Ooh, I don't know about that, but okay. I've always loved Panerai, especially the simplicity of the Pam one one one. After that purchase, I wanted to get another Rolex and quickly called my AD. After putting my name on the imaginary list, I was quickly one month. Able to secure the last 2020 Rolex Submariner date, the 116610, before the newer reference was released in August. Well done. Well done. After that purchase, I immediately put my name on the list for the Pepsi GMT, as well as the Ceramic Daytona White Dial. It's been 10, minutes, 10 months since I made the request, but have had no luck. However, a few days ago, I received a call from my AD, and while it wasn't the Pepsi or the Daytona that I've been waiting for, he did offer me a root beer. Ooh, okay. 
I've watched one of your previous videos where you told one of your viewers Vegas can't be choosers while he was debating between the Pepsi and the Root Beer. So I immediately went to the AD and picked up the Root Beer. The Root Beer is actually a very cool model. I was never into gold, but the watch is absolutely stunning and I'm glad I was able to purchase it. My AD also has high confidence that he will be able to get me a GMT Pepsi in the near future. Very, you hold him to it, that GMT Pepsi is worth its weight in gold. I've sent you $40 for a paid review, as well as advice on whether I should purchase the Pepsi or Daytona or both if they become available. I've consistent. I've got a consistent purchase history of the AD, but I've spent less than 50k over 30. That's not much at all, I'm afraid. That's absolutely nothing. I'm not a snob or showy person. I genuinely love the Rolex brand and couldn't care less about what anyone else thinks. In the end, my goal is to enjoy my collection for years to come and eventually give one of the Rolex sports to my kids upon. Let's just just leave that. Get them to work themselves, okay? Give them a tag each, okay? Please, don't be given the... I don't understand. Don't, don't, you're a kind guy. Just be, uh, when they become adults and hope for them passing watches on to their kids one day. Ah, forget that. I've attached a few pictures. Thank you for your time, and I hope you have a great holiday season. So, what do I think there? Well, i got to tell you, you're a really nice guy, Chad. You're a lovely guy. Um, let's just do a quick, 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 quick whist watch. Uh, let's do a bit of a, a, uh, a talk here. That's, that's actually quite a decent little collection there. I, I quite like it. I don't have a problem with what you've got. Um, I, I quite like it. Look, look, the tag... We've got to start somewhere. I didn't get nothing. I didn't get nothing. Okay. I didn't get nothing good. Uh, I'm a little bit sad you got rid of the Datejust. I would have probably kept it. I still I still like the Datejust. It's coming back. You know, Rolex is so hard to get. Rolex Datejust is actually winner, winner, chicken dinner. You didn't say whether it was two-tone or... Or what there, but you know, I actually like that. That's okay. Let's not go back over that there. You want a more conservative look? Okay, so so what do I think there? So firstly the tag we don't sell that. That's your first watch. I don't hate tag, please. I may have said I wouldn't buy one. I wouldn't put the money in myself. I've said that. Yes, 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 but as a first watch, man, you could have done a hell of a lot worse than that. That's a great watch. It tells the story. I'm a little bit saddened that you got rid of the date just because that would have continued the story. But let's have a look here. We've got the IWC Portuguese. I love the font. The font on those Arabics is to die for. That is just an iconic chronograph. Absolutely gorgeous. Do not sell it. You keep it. Just keep it. IWC's had some criticisms because they've used ETA movements, but that was kind of, you've got to remember, the genre. So many makers didn't make everything. They Rolex used to use Valjou movements, okay, in their Daytonas. That's right, they did. The 727 Valjou movement. So, i got to be honest with you, I think, don't ever sell the IWC. That's a beautiful watch. I love the dial, the beautiful blue. You know how they do that blue? That's from heat. It's amazing. And then we've got the Pam 111. Actually, I, I, I've always liked the 111. I thought that was just... It's an ETA movement base watch. And it's it's just the original classic everyday Pam. Manual wine. I love the sub-second at nine. It's chunky. It's just a beautiful interpretation of a diver. And you can put straps on it and muck around. It's just, it's a cool piece. So the Pam, I wouldn't buy any more Pams. Don't buy any more. That's enough. And then we've got the Rolex, the Rolex Submarina date. That's a beautiful piece. I've got the, the model after it. Look, to be honest with you, man, the differences are so minor. It doesn't matter. The thing is, you've got a sub ceramic. I think the sub ceramic is a big improvement over the pre ceramic because you've got the new clasp. The clasp itself is really to to yearn for. I think your sub there 
is is I love it. I really do love that that sub there. Now, as for the GMTs, okay, let's have a talk about that. So, so you 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 wanted to um, the GMT. You wanted to ask me why do I think of the root beer itself there? Look, I got to tell you, the root beer in my country, it is absolutely it is next. It is next to impossible. Uh, I'm just calling up the file now. Uh, it is next to impossible to get. So I honestly don't think you've got a a bad selection there. You've got the root beer. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Is it as collectible as the Pepsi or the Batman, Batgirl? No. But it is gorgeous. The root beer is good. Please. i got to be totally honest with you. You've spent a pittance. Okay? I know you're a tight-ass accountant and 50000 seems to be a lot of money. But let's be completely honest. In this watch collecting world, it's nothing. I think it's a good idea. You've got the Pepsi. Sorry, you've got the, the root beer. You've got the, the sub. I would definitely push for the Pepsi. And as for the Daytona, let's just assume it won't happen. Because that watch is winner, winner, chicken dinner. It's selling for double, double retail, okay? So i got to be totally honest with you. you got no chance. Absolutely no chance. Not with that petty $50,000 spend. That's nothing. That's nothing, okay? Now, Chad, I would like to see you. Now, let me say this to you. So I, I would definitely get the Pepsi. And I would keep both. Keep the root beer and keep the Pepsi. The root beer, because it's rose gold and steel, it's a little bit more discreet. So that's a great thing. Now, what I would say to you is, look, Chad, 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 Chad. Man, I love you. You're a good-hearted man. Maybe get Mrs. Chad a Rolex. What I get her is a steel you just tell the Rolex AD, hey, you can get me the Pepsi. I'd also want to get one for the wife at the same time. Steel Oyster Perpetual. That's what you get. Steel or a Steel Datejust. That's what you get. Okay. Now you've got a couple sizes there. The traditional size, 28 mils. Then you've got the 31 mil. I'd ask your wife. See which one. I'd get your wife one. Now as for giving this stuff to the kids, man, slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down, Chad. Slow down, Chad. Um, no, 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 no. You give the kids the watches when you die. You don't give the kids Rolexes, man. They're just spoiled brats, okay? Come on, man. They prefer to get a second-hand car anyhow. Uh, I, I really wouldn't... I don't think it's a good idea to give your kids... Rolex. I'd love my kids to love watches, but they don't. Chad, come on, man. I love you. You're a very kind man. You've got a heart of gold. You've got a very good heart. You're a good guy. You're a nice man. But that's just absolutely ridiculous. You're a middle class guy. Lower middle class, I think. Looking at the watch collection, man. You're, you're a bit pen he he pen pecked. Okay, you do everything for the family. Come on, Chad. I'm just telling you, honestly, you're a good guy. You're a guy who goes out, does everything for his kids, for his wife. You're a nice guy. These watches are for you. Okay? Don't give this stuff away, man. I love you. You are why I love Rolex. It's not for some guy who's got everything. It's for guys like you who just sold all the earth guys. They do anything for you. They're just good guys. So please, Chad, don't don't give them to the kids. This, it's your hobby. You love. Look at the way they're placed in the box, man. Come on, Chad. So that's my advice. My advice to you: if you get the root beer, you got the root beer. Sorry, you have the root beer. It's a beautiful watch. Don't sell any of this stuff, please, Chad. Don't be trading stuff in to get new stuff. That's dumb, okay? Chad, just, just get the Pepsi. Get the pan, get, get get the Daytona. If you can get a Pepsi, you grab it and keep it. If you can get a ceramic Daytona, you grab it and keep it. Don't get a two-tone ceramic Daytona. Don't get two-tone. You get the steel only. It's the only one you're interested in. And as far as the Pepsi goes, if you get a Pepsi or a Batgirl, you grab it and keep it. That's what you do, man. 
don't don't flip it. It's 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 that's exactly what I do. You're a nice guy. You're a lovely man. Very proud of your collection. Uh, I I would say my advice to you is just 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 stay slowly. Build night. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. So uh, Chad, enjoy the Volvo, and I will see you in the next one. Guys, like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Remember, I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need these paid reviews to keep me on YouTube. Without paid reviews, it's very hard for me to survive. Please, guys, think about getting a paid review, 50 US dollars. I'll tell you what I think of your collection. I'll give you some pointers. I'll answer a question or two, a couple of questions. And you can share this link with your friends and family. I'm Archie Luxury, and I will see you in the next one. The Rolex Submariner date. Probably the most versatile, the most famous, the most wanted watch of 2020. The Rolex Submariner. Absolutely stunning. I've gone for the steel model. I wanted something that could be worn every day. The businessman's delight. Look at the side profile. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. I've got to tell you, I am in love with this Submariner. Black on black. Does it get any, any better? Black on black. The Rolex Submariner. This is what the, the, this is just such a beautiful, look at the, I got to tell you, the maxi, the, just the whole thing, this whole thing is everything. The ceramic sub should have been from day one. Absolutely winner, winner, chicken, chicken dinner. Absolutely. And it's got the new clasp with the glide lock for easy adjustments. Absolutely winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hi guys, Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co. Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.